Canada's financial system remains resilient, and this resilience has increased because the Canadian economy has strengthened since our previous FSR in December. Still, the two most important vulnerabilities for Canada's financial system, that's the elevated level of household indebtedness and imbalances in the Canadian housing market, have moved higher over the past six months. On the first, the level of household indebtedness in Canada continues to rise. A good portion of this increased debt consists of mortgages and home equity lines of credit located in the greater Toronto and Vancouver areas. Imbalances in housing markets, the second vulnerability, have also grown since December. Policies aimed at cooling the greater Vancouver area market appear to have had only a temporary effect as sales and prices are rising again. Similar policies have recently been implemented for the GTA. And while the most recent average sale price in the GTA has declined, that followed significant price acceleration over the previous year across various dwelling types. At, at, at this stage, I'm just, I'm just comforted by the fact that the economy is showing better, uh, better dynamics, and that, that does, uh, does go into this equation of financial risk as a positive. It means that uh, the resilience is rising in the background, even if the vulnerabilities are also rising in the foreground. Thank you.